Do you want this skin easily? Well, you've come to the right video. I also put timestamps, so if you need to skip to a certain part, feel free to, because I will be covering a lot in this guide. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get gold too, even though the quest says you only need gold. To get the free skin, you're going to need to get gold too. I don't know if that's a typo or a bug, but I'll update you guys in a pinned comment if anything changes. Now, according to Fortnite Tracker, around 22% of you are your bronze 2 or silver 1, with 4% of you currently being at gold 2. So let's fix that. With the first thing I'll be showing to help you get gold 2 is... Now at this point you probably know how to play, but for those who don't, throttle is W, your brake is S, going backwards is also S, steering right is holding D, steering left is holding A. Your jump is left click, your thrusters will be holding left click, and while in air you can tap it as well. Your turbo, or your boost, is space. Uh, a thing with the boost is over time, it will gain, and as you can see, we just got on our boost. But how to activate your boost, you just hit space, and then when it's flashing like that, you hit space again. If you miss it, it'll just say miss, and you won't get that extra boost. Now, drifting is done two ways. You can either uh, click or hold shift, depending on how you like it. It is automatically uh, done whenever you just click it, but I like holding shift while I drift, I don't know why, but that's how I do it. Uh, and it drift is also automatically activated while you're turning, so I'll demonstrate that now. As I turn, it is automatically drifting. And I'll turn to the left, and you see it's drifting to the left. This is me holding it. And I'll shut it off on this side. So as you can see, while drifting, my boost meter is going up a lot. And that is really good for maps that have a lot of corners that you can drift on to gain that boost. Also, you'll see this green little bar that will gain whenever uh, you boost as well. Whenever you straighten out, it'll give you uh, a tiny speed boost, not a whole lot. But as you saw, we get, went from 400 to 600 uh, kilometers. So depending on how much that bar is, will depend on uh, how much speed you get. To air dodge, you need to be in the air and then you need to hit WASD and right click. So, in the air, right click W will not send me to the roof, apparently. There we go. And then you can drive and drift and all that on the roof. Same thing with the walls. If I want to go on this left wall, jump. And same thing with the right wall. If you want to hit the ground quickly, right click and then S. A few things to note as well, uh, around the course you'll see this almost transparent uh, barrier. If you get close to it, it starts going red and then uh, you will explode, uh, sending you back to the track. This barrier, however, will make your car slow. So I'm going 500, bring me down, bring me down. These bars uh, give me a little speed boost just like the drift. This wall I'm going 500, brought me up to 6. And then most maps have these just to get a uh, better advantage on your opponents if you hit them and they don't. They're normally either outside the map, uh, if the map allows you, or 
they're in like cheeky spots but that's really it for movement let's continue last thing i wanted to say there is four dots right before the race actually starts it will go red 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 then green on that fourth one if you hit your throttle button at the right time you will get a percent of boost that boost will range from zero to a hundred a hundred being the best zero being the worst and how you get zero is basically you don't move at all until that timer goes just wanted to let you guys know before uh, we moved on to our next point a good map to test your skill is bone cavern 2 on the advanced track but you pick the one that's best for your skill there's a lot of maps you can play and you can play all of them there is no limit to what rank you need to be and they all have something that you can work on or learn a thing or two about the mode if you really want you can go back to the tutorial uh, whenever you're picking ranked or any of these modes it's just right here but how to improve this brings me to my next point as I said you can play on a map at any time with probably more on the way when you go to select a map you can pick whether or not you go up against other people if you're still learning a map or trying a new keybind or even 1v1ing a friend I would set this mode to private if you want to go toe to toe with 11 other people I would set this mode to public when choosing a map you got three categories to choose from. You got your novice, advanced, and expert, ranking easy, medium, and hard. Playing ranked, you don't get this freedom of picking a random map. Depending on your rank, you are set with a few tracks at a time. And depending on your rank, the higher your rank is, the harder the tracks will become. Right now, I am plat two. I'm getting expert tracks, and I will probably never see at a novice track ever again but for the people that are playing bronze and silver why not learn the maps that you're getting and what do i mean by that every single time you start up a race the name of the map will come up on the top of your screen this is important because in ranked remember you can't pick the map so if you get a brand new rank say you were bronze three and now you're silver one and you've never played cliff runner before i don't know if you would actually get cliff runner in silver one i'm just making this up but say you never played cliff runner before you can come back here set your privacy to private go in cliff runner and learn the map see if there's any shortcuts see if it's worth it or not try different ways on how you can get ahead of your opponents and even uh if you don't want to do that you can play casual see where everyone else is going and see if it's faster for rank this is a great strategy to get upper hand on your opponents while playing because for you you've played this map before someone that's playing might not have played this map but probably the most important topic that we got to talk about right now is now your mindset going into a race just after going dead last 10th 11th whatever it is will be totally different than a player who just won their last race and with that don't stress out there will be games where you go from first to last over one mistake we've all been there maybe you hit a tree maybe someone made you spin out at the end of the day that mistake can be fixed with practice but most of the time it can't be fixed and it's just RNG. A helpful tip is don't think about going for first. If you know you can go for first place when you cross that finish line, go for it. But if me and this guy see the finish line and we're going and I'm in second place but I have to do something risky to get to first, I'm honestly sticking to second and moving on. Because if I did do that risky play and messed it up, I could be set back all the way to 7th or even dead last. And if I haven't have done the risky play, I would have been in 2nd and would have gotten way more than the guy that was originally dead last or even 7th. My last thing I got for you guys is... This will not be an easy task. It took me a while to get to gold, let alone plat. Take breaks every so often. If you're going last every time you play, 
go back and review what's going on. Maybe you drifted too early, maybe you boosted too late, maybe you missed a shortcut that you could have taken. We all make those mistakes every single day. Even on my streams, you guys see me constantly making mistakes. But for you guys, I know you can get to gold too, as long as you take the time and believe in yourself. You will get the skin easily, but you gotta remember it will take a while. Don't beat yourself down because of the outcome of the last race. Think about the next. So the video would have ended right here, but I found a really quick method for you guys. And this is actually mind blowing. If you have a friend that is a really high rank and is higher than you, play with them. My buddy was bronze three and I was bronze two. We played one game and he went dead last because he didn't know the track at all because it was an expert map and he gained 26 percent 26 for going dead last if i did that i'm losing three percent like that's crazy so if you have a buddy that is a really high rank ask them to play because they will definitely be a really big help for you. Other than that, I will leave you guys to the grind. Good luck, and maybe I will see you guys on the track. My goal is getting unreal. What's yours?